I just got a call that said uh, the androgel was approved by my insurance. Approved! So here's what that means um, and what I've learned in the last couple of weeks. Sometimes when you are prescribed a medication that is non-standard or a controlled substance such as testosterone, because jerk athletes like to use it to lift way more weights than they physically should be able to. The doctor will give you your prescription and then you bring that prescription to the pharmacy and the pharmacy says to your doctor, hey, you gave us this prescription, please call the insurance and get what's called a prior authorization. And when I say call the insurance, I mean fill out this form and send it to the insurance. And the insurance will look at the prior authorization and go, hmm, hmm. Mm, sure. Or, mm, no. And if they go, hmm, sure, then your medication is covered. Hey, so I am using the microphone and being as quiet as I can um, because John is still sleeping in the other room. Here's my little tube of androgel. As uh, I mentioned yesterday, it is the gel rather than injections. I was given the choice to start with the gel and I went with it because, although I don't have a phobia of needles, if I have the option to not stick myself with a needle, I'm going to try it out. Um, I was a little worried about the efficacy, but the doctor said that the rumors that it's not as effective, um, those don't have as much bearing as you might think. So, starting out with the gel, um, a box of 30 of these little buggers cost me $75 after the insurance. If I could have the opportunity to spend less on it, um, I'd take that, but seeing as the market price is somewhere in the range of $400 to $500, I will take that $75 for at least a few months. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna shower up and then go through my routine. And here we go. I did it. Uh, and now we're gonna go see Deadpool. 